Hello and welcome to a video taking a look at Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem just lets us find missing sides when we are given two of the sides on a right angle triangle. It only works for right angle triangles, we can't do it with any other triangle. And Pythagoras' theorem states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Now what this means, what this means is simply that the square of the longest side on a right angle triangle. So the longest side is always the side that is opposite the right angle. The square of this side is equal to the square of the two shorter sides added together. So the square of 5 is going to be equal to the square of 4 plus the square of the side that we don't know. Okay. Now in order to solve these problems there's kind of basically four steps which I've kind of already set out here on the right um, and they're very very similar for the longer side it's just going we're going to add at this third step for the shorter side we're going to subtract that's the only difference between them okay let's take a look at this first example we've got the we've already got the longer side we, we've got this five centimeters here what we're looking to do is we're looking to find one of the shorter sides so we're going to be using this, uh, these four steps here. So we're going to start by squaring one of the sides. That gives so five squared. That gives me twenty-five. Then I'm going to square the other side. Four squared will give me sixteen. I then need to subtract these two numbers. So twenty-five minus sixteen. That's going to give me an answer of nine. From here, I then need to square root. So I'm going to square root my answer, which is going to give me an answer of 3. So what I could say here is that x is going to equal 3 centimetres. OK, let's take a look at the next example. The next example, I'm looking for the side that is opposite the right angle. So because I'm looking for the side that's opposite the right angle, I'm going to be using this, um, this these four steps here. So let's start off first step squaring one of the sides so I'm going to square 12 and that's going to give me 144 then I'm going to square the other side so second step is to square the other side that's going to give me 25 I then need to add these two numbers together so 145 plus 25 that's going to give me an answer of uh, 169 <coughs> So that's my third step, and I'm doing that third step because it's the longer side. And then the last step, I'm going to square root. So I'm going to square root 169, and that's going to give me an answer of 13. So what I could say here is that the length of this longest side of this right angle triangle is going to be 13 meters. Okay, last example. I've got one side here that's three centimeters then I've got this side that is opposite the right angle is ten centimeters so the missing side the side that I'm looking to find is a shorter side so let's follow these four steps here so square one of the sides ten squared gives me one hundred then square the other side three squared that's going to give me nine then I need to subtract the smaller number from the larger one. So 100 minus 9, that's going to give me an answer of 91. Then my last step is to square root 91. And that's going to give me an answer of, well, I'm going to need a calculator for this. So let's do that. Um, now, square root of 91. So square root of 91 that's going to give me an answer of 9.5393292014 uh, I'm just going to give this to three significant figures so to three significant figures the first three numbers that count it's going to be 9.5 and then we can see here we've got a 9 so it's going to be 9.54 so it's 9.54 two three significant figures <coughs> 